In the Gaza Strip, the Hamas has eased lockdown restrictions during the holy month of Ramzan. Food areas have been opened, employees have been seen wearing masks in the recently opened restaurants in the Muslim prominent region. The government allowed restaurants to reopen following pleas from restaurant owners to ease the economic suffering. Under the decision based on health ministry recommendations, restaurants must continue to observe social distancing rules, the ministry said in a statement. So far, Gaza appears to have been largely spared from the coronavirus pandemic with only 17 cases detected and all within quarantine facilities set up for those returning from abroad. Large public prayer gatherings will be banned with people told to stay at home. بالزي الغصني وأيضا الالتزام بالقفازات والفيس ماسك بالنسبة للاستقبال الزبائن يتم استقبال الزبائن تكون كل زبون وزبون تقريبا متر ونص حسب الجهات المختصة التي أعلنت عنه إنه يكون التباعد بين الطاولات إذا لم فتحوا يعني أما قبل ما يفتحوا والله كنا نعاني يعني كنا مش مش نلاقي مكان مثلا نروح عليه ضل قاعد في البيت أجواء في كورونا وأنت خايف من الكورونا يعني إنك تطلع الشغل مثلاً كل رمضان الأجواء بتكون أحلى من هيك عنا وإحنا حساسة Since the middle of March, Hamas government has imposed strict measures to avoid a widespread outbreak of COVID-19. Schools, universities, mosques and restaurants have been closed. Let's get you the big story the live developing story of the moment. BRICS foreign minister meeting is currently underway via a video conference to discuss possible ways to deal with the COVID-19 crisis. Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar is currently attending that meeting along with his counterparts from other BRICS nations including Brazil, Russia, China and South Africa. On the agenda are discussions to develop a possible joint BRICS strategy to deal with the crisis that has engulfed the world. The meet has been organized by Russia, which is the chair of the grouping for this year. We are now joined by Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl, for more live updates on this story. Uh, Siddhant, BRICS is a very important and new block, isn't it? Uh, it's countries are some of the fastest developing economies in the world and it controls a huge chunk of the global population. It's very important that BRICS nations formulate a joint strategy to defeat this virus. Well, yes, of course, uh, we have seen in the first uh, half, uh, first decade, in fact, of uh, this century, how BRICS has emerged uh, as uh, an important part, in fact, of uh, the international order. And uh, one thing I can tell you, just a short while ago, the BRICS foreign minister's video conference on the, the COVID crisis has concluded. All uh, the ministers have discussed and made the statements. Now, in fact, what is happening is that Russian foreign minister is addressing a press conference in which he's answering all the questions over what transpired in that meeting. And the biggest the outcome of that meeting is that a 15 billion dollar loan instrument is being devised by all the BRICS countries to help the, uh, the economy, the world economy when it comes to uh, coming out of uh, the economic crisis in the aftermath of the COVID crisis. We know that uh, the G20 is also working on that plan as well. The G20 countries have announced uh, that they will be infusing trillions of dollars, in fact, five trillion dollars into the world economy to make sure that uh, they, uh, the world economy does not slip into a recession. But it uh, looks like that it will be a difficult task because already the IMF has said that the world economy is in recession. But talking about the, the BRICS, uh, this is an important meeting and showcases that how these five important countries of uh, the world can come together to make sure that uh, the, when uh, the other organizations are missing, such as the United Nations, they can come up and they can uh, devise plans. In fact, uh, the other outcome of uh, this BRICS meeting that has just concluded is the fact
fact that all uh, the sectorals, uh, the sector, uh, sector, uh, sector uh, se various sectors such as uh, the economy, uh, the economy ministers, the the finance ministers, the trade minister, the tourism ministers are going to meet uh, very soon. In fact, uh, the G20 trade ministers, uh, the energy ministers, the tourism ministers also met. So clearly, uh, now BRICS uh, taking that line and coming out with a joint uh, and of course a coordinated approach when it comes to dealing the COVID crisis. Absolutely, Siddhant. It's very important uh, that BRICS nations formulate a plan to not only to defeat the virus, but also make a plan to emerge from this uh, lockdown period, isn't it? Because, like we mentioned, these are some of the most uh, developing economies and uh, the economic impact on their economies could be huge. Well, it's the economic impact uh, that will be huge, uh, we all know. And BRICS primarily was formed as an economic grouping and now clearly taking little bit uh, political overturns. We know that Br BRICS has devised uh, international uh, lending uh, banks as well. Uh, the New Development Bank, uh, which is based in Shanghai, is one of the major outcomes of uh, this uh, BRICS grouping. And of course, we know uh, that uh, this uh, BRICS grouping, a coordinated approach of by the BRICS grouping will go a long way in terms of making sure that the world economy me comes out from uh, the the recession very soon but uh, we also know that when it comes to the BRICS grouping it has in the past also come up uh, with a global uh, globally coordinated approach whether it is whether it is climate change uh, or other issues in fact uh, this year Russia is the chair of uh, the BRICS and it was the Russian uh, led initiative that led to this video conference of all the BRICS uh, foreign minister we also know that India supported this initiative as it has been supporting regional as well as global uh, efforts when it comes to a coordinated right. approach. We know in the region, the Indian Prime Minister last month had proposed uh, a SARC video conference, uh, which uh, uh, went a long way when it comes to uh, devising a regional strategy. And also when it comes to G20, the Indian Prime Minister had proposed this idea to the chair of G20 Absolutely. Saudi Arabia. And we saw uh, the G20 video conference taking place. So clearly India taking a lead role. Absolutely. Sidhan Sibal, thank you so much for joining us uh, with the latest information on the BRICS meeting. Meanwhile, after the United States cut its funding to the World Health Organization,